welcome everyone to our episode today of Cooking with Love. We're so excited because today we're going to make lasagna. We're actually, we've been trying to recreate Paul's mother's lasagna recipe and we're getting closer and closer, aren't we, yep, honey? getting very close. With a little bit of modification to some of the things. Like everyone, everyone looks forward to that Sunday when mom or dad or somebody's going to make that real special meal in my house. Mm -hmm. We always got excited because when my mother was going to make a roast or she was going to make some kind of chicken or a casserole, but we were always looking forward to when she made her famous lasagna, as we called it. Well, Marlon and I have decided that we were going to create a new famous lasagna in our family. And make it our own. Make it our own. Absolutely. Right. And we do some variations. Some people use sausage. Some use ground beef. We use ground turkey. Mm. Now, a lot of people say, well, ground turkey doesn't have any flavor to it. This is magic in a little bottle called Grill Mates by McCormick. It's called Monterey Steak Seasoning. It can turn that ground turkey into tasting just like uh, beef. And the great thing about it is ground turkey, barely any fat, but high in protein. So much better for your family at the same time. And we use it on everything. We everything. love ground turkey spaghetti, and yep. we just use that. Paul found this, the Montreal Steak Seasoning, yep. and it just gives it such a great flavor. Great flavor. We love it. So, and another thing we're going to do, this is a first, so you all get to watch before. this. It's called Oven Ready Lasagna Pasta Noodle. Never done it, so there's going to be no boiling. We're going to put it straight into our pan with mm -hmm. our mixture and our cheeses and all that and bake it. And uh, at the end, we'll let you know how good it tastes. In fact, our daughter, Erica, is going to probably taste it with us. That's right. She's behind the camera. Say hi, honey. Hi. So first we're going to put a little bit of sauce in the pan. Now you can use any sauce. You can make your own or you can use, I have Borrelia because we have coupons from coupons, Borrelia coupons. And, and a little bit of Prego. Those are some of our favorites. So we're going to put a little sauce. Tilt it up, honey, so they can see the pan. We have a nice little glass pan here. Okay, and I'm just going to move this around. Why don't you do that the, with the ladle there? Just to coat the bottle a little bit. You need some more? Okay. Go. All right. And now, I'm gonna lick my fingers. Mm, now, just like, good. just like in the other program we showed you, a lot of what you're gonna see us working with here, we purchased on sale. Mm -hmm. So again, making a really great meal for the family without costing the family a fortune in the process. Now we're gonna put some noodles on here. Right. These are the oven-ready lasagna noodles on sale at Safeway this week. There you go, there's a box. Right, and basically what it states is they want you to do, just like you would if it was boiled uh, lasagna pasta, is lay them over each other to make sure you got the entire bottom covered. And some more? Oh, sorry about that. Now another thing you can do is, we don't do this, but some lasagna recipes do call for a little bit of salt and ground pepper. Um, again, you make this your own, so you can do it to your taste, season to your taste, and what your family likes. Right. Now, on the stove we had cooking our pound of ground turkey. We put in there the majority of the jar of the Barilla spaghetti sauce. Again, you can Barilla. use your Barilla. Right, Erica? Ma? <laughs> and, uh, use your own homemade sauce, however you want to do it. We want to make this quick and simple. By the way, Erica is our Italian singer in the beginning of our show, and she says, Barilla. Barilla. <laughs> now, he's being stubborn and will not use the ladle. Now, he has to use the spatula. spatula so, yeah, I like it. You know, one, no, no. one utensil, but we easier to them. clean. We love them. Then you want to use any form of chopped tomatoes. can be in a can, can be in uh, a carton like this. we got ourselves a nice little... Uh, we got this at uh, Harris Teeter this week. It was Correct. wonderful. He's going to start putting this in, and I'll tell you about it. Right. Harris Teeter had super doubles this week, so uh, we got these pommy uh, tomatoes. So they were wonderful to, to try. Now... Lasagna is 90% assembly. Once you have everything made, it's pretty quick to put together. Right. And I'm going to just, he's putting a, a delicious layer of uh, ground turkey in. See, this is why you don't need a ladle. Yeah, yeah. Because look at the spatula. Girls use ladles, nice boys thick. use spatulas. Why is that? Does yeah. it have something to do with communication? I don't that, know. It's all okay. good. All it's good. all good, baby. It's but all that's good. That's our first layer right Okay, there. now you can see this. Let me move some of these out of the way. Let's tilt it up. And now, if you'll leave that there, we are going to put what Paul calls a dollop of ricotta. Yes. Can you tilt it up while I, I dollop, babe? 
Thanks. Okay, dollop. This is the way his mama did it. With dollops of ricotta. And if you're a Ferguson and you're watching, and you remember the recipe, give us a call. Because <laughs> any help is appreciated. Right. Ladies. That's right. All right, these are the dollops. Now we're going to put the cheese in. Right, and now we have uh, uh, shredded mozzarella. My mother used to use the big old chunk of mozzarella, slice it into thin slices and layer it across. Uh, this is a lot easier. You just take uh, shredded mozzarella and we're going to sprinkle that all around. Try to get it real evenly. You and then, then more noodles, babe. put more noodles. Yeah. Again, the assembly, if you've made a lasagna in the past, it's going to basically be what you're used to. Again, cover up the whole thing. It's going to be very strange. These are hard. They're just like uncooked pasta, but uh, they swear that it's uh, going to be terrific. We'll let you know. And now, we'll add the rest of the meat sauce. And some more sauce. And a little bit more sauce, right? Mm-hmm. To make sure we get this. We like it nice and juicy. That's why we don't eat the spices in our lasagna, because we put so many um, great flavors from our, our sauces into the lasagna. Okay, is it dollop time? It is dollop time. It is dollop time. Tilt up. Again. So they can see the lasagna, isn't that pretty? Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous. And I'm putting the dollops of ricotta. Uh-huh. Did I say that good, Eric? Ricotta? Very good. Okay, I'm gonna learn Italian yet. <laughs> All right, there's and the ricotta. More of the shrimp. Ricotta. Again. Just a nice covering on top. Mm -hmm. There we go. You can see that this is being done in within about yeah. two minutes. More we talked about it more than we did it. Oh. He's always eating when we cook, but that's right. good. Uh, you know, happy, happy, happy life. No, that's happy wife, happy life, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> happy wife, happy life. Yeah. It's like playing cards here. It's like a deck of cards. It's very cool. Yeah. <laughs> Some of my friends have poker night. Yeah. I got to get in on that. The poker night with the girls. Can you imagine? Okay. okay so we got the top beautiful. layer, and now what you're going to do? A little sauce. Put more sauce. Put it around. All right. And you're going to smooth that out. Smooth it out. With your famous little Using spatula. Using my spatula. Yeah. Okay. Need more? A little more? bit more. Little more. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to pour it all in there. Yeah. It's good. Yeah, oh, it looks so good. We love lasagna. Mm -mm, good. Actually, we're both eating, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. And now we're going to put some cheese on top, right? That's it. And we are just about done. And when he puts the cheese on, after that, what do we do next after the cheese? I'm going to put it in the oven. And guess why we can't put it in the oven? Because there's pots and pans in the oven. Because I've been begging him for a pot rack. That's what I want for Mother's Day, a pot rack. And Erica's shaking her head, no pot rack. Okay. So our oven is a pot rack. Yes. But no, I can't have a pot rack in this little kitchen. We have a very small kitchen. I don't know if you can tell. It's very compact, but we enjoy right. it. Right, and if I put a pot rack, one, it's going to have ugly pots hanging, and two, I'm going to be smacking it with my head. I don't think so. So you can all write in and vote. Should Marlon get a pot rack for Mother's Day or not? Okay, you let us know what you think. And we're getting ready to put it in the oven. You can yep. see how beautiful it looks. Beautiful. It's very pretty and very sturdy. And it's going to cook for 45 minutes on 350. And then we're going to show you how it tastes. And here's our delicious lasagna cooled off from an oven. And now we're going to taste it. I'm so excited. Oh, God, this looks so good. It's going to taste a little bit because we're on TV. Oh, my God, that is so good. What do you think? He's taking a nice big piece. Yum. Mm. Mm. And that is our cooking with love lasagna recipe for today. Good.